Naked stories. Not quite naked. I've had a shower. Um, how are you doing? Afternoon. A little bit later than usual because I've had the most gorgeous morning. I got up early. I went to the gym. I went straight for a walk around the forest. And then I've had a call. And someone said to me, oh, have you got so much energy? And it kind of got me thinking about what I wanted to talk to you about today in this kind of, it's not really a series, but I did say that I wanted to talk, hi buddy, I wanted to talk about things relating to um, business because we're talking micromind this week. And by the way, we've probably got four places left on the micromind. So if you're thinking about applying, you need to get on with it. Anyway, so business things that aren't business things, business, business. So one of the things that came up last night in our mastermind call, which is a mastermind is essentially a group call where it's not a training where it's about any one specific thing. Um, the, the people in there are, are connected through work and experiences and business and so on. And they're all um, micromind alumni as well and we come together every couple of weeks and see what's coming up for them go through their sort of challenges and wins celebrate the wins all that kind of thing and then see what we can do to help one another within that space it's absolutely gorgeous I love these calls anyway one of the things that came up last night was transitioning from working like a nine to five to running your own business and the sort of challenges that that brings. So the things that were coming up were like random working hours and like how to structure things and not getting like distracted by stuff and actually working in like your home, not having, not leaving the house to go somewhere to work. So the th the suggestions that we were that came up um, during the course of this conversation were that might be helpful to you. Were you know, it's essentially a question of self leadership. It's essentially a question of being really honest with yourself about what you're doing. Okay, so. What we're being asked was around like how to keep to structure, how to do something that doesn't feel like you're kind of just floating around and 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 there's no real focus. So the the couple of things that we there were lots of discussion, but I thought a couple of these things might be helpful for you. So number one, decide what your working hours are. Like literally decide what your working hours are and stick to them. And that you need to do that from the beginning. You need to do that from the very, very beginning. And that includes like when you're going to be seeing clients, when you're going to be teaching, when you're going to be like whatever it is that your business offers, like set, set the boundaries on the working times, the working days and stick to them. So if let's say, for example, you are working, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and let's say you're going to be teaching on Friday nights. What you do is you start now. You set that structure up now. You set it up like the classes are happening then, the clients are happening then, the calls are happening then, the admin is happening then, and you get into that rhythm, just like you would do if you're at work, just like you would do if you were going out to work. You set the structure in place for the business that you want it to become. Because what can really, really easily happen is you create a monster. If there's no structure to it and you're just literally like reacting to things, you will use, you will, first of all, you will waste a whole bunch of time like procrastinating over things. What is it that I'm going to do? Like the next news you're like, oh, I'm just going to go on, you know, Instagram or whatever and get some ideas. And you spent like an, an hour like doing literally nothing. It's about self-leadership. So what day is going to be your CEO day? What day is going to be the day that you do your admin? What day is going to be the day that you do your content creation? What day is going to be the day that you do your client, you know, calls or teaching? And when there is space in those places, so let's say your teaching's on a Friday night, it's not woohoo night off. It's like, okay, what should I be doing in place of that class 
if the class didn't fail or there isn't a client, it's not like, you know, whoop de doo let's, you know, all go for a curry. You've got to actually, like, use that time. Set your business up for the business that you want it to become, become and treat it like the business that you want it to become and not some hobby. So the other thing that I think a lot of people do, and especially, you know, if you're listening to this, you're probably watching it on Instagram, is lose loads of time scrolling on social media under the guise of... Oh, my cat's coming to get involved in on the action. Under the guise of, I'm working. Like, you know, I'm looking at inspiration for this or whatever. I want to ask you this. Are you working or are you sat there comparing yourself to what other people are doing? Because I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you spent half of the time that you currently spend scrolling Instagram and comparing yourself and actually totally like telling yourself that it's work when it's totally not and actually focus that time and attention on your business you'll be in a very 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 different place six months from now so you need to get really really honest with yourself you need to get actually like your whole you need to hold yourself accountable so when you do decide that it's it's time to go and have a look on instagram to get inspiration put a timer on intentional scrolling not just like mindless and what are they doing and what are they doing like be intentional and then when the timer goes stop and the final thing and I could go on and on I was nearly going to do a live but I was like no we're not going there the final thing is do not underestimate how in those spaces between clients you also get to work on yourself you also get to work on yourself one of the things that will increase your capacity to navigate the inevitable ups and downs and challenges of having your own business is actually really taking good care of yourself. And that doesn't mean scrolling the internet. That means getting to bed at a decent time. That means drinking enough water. That means eating well. I am not good at that one. I've got many of a solution, many solutions for it, but like I'm not brilliant at it. But the one thing I can tell you is there are non-negotiables about my like self-care that I know help me to have a better business. Yesterday, I spent eight hours on Zoom. Eight hours on Zoom. That is an uh, like full disclosure, that's a really out of the ordinary situation for me to spend that much time on Zoom. But I did. And my last call finished at 10 past 10 my time, like 10 past 10 p.m. What did I do? Immediately after it was finished, I did not look at my phone again. I saved the recording for the people that weren't in the uh, mastermind call and popped that ready for the morning. Then I literally, I went and took a shower. I had five minutes, I had a proper shower, like I've just had. Then I had five minutes of a cold shower to like regulate my nervous system, to like start to like process and get everything like, you know, coming back down to earth after basically being like that all day long. And then I got out of the shower and I got into bed and I, I read, I didn't look at my phone again because it's, it, like that's the worst thing to do when you're literally up to here with like stimulation and dysregulation. I got into bed. I read. I'm really mindful about what I read before I go to sleep. And then I put my frequency music on to go to sleep too. To, I had a timer on as well. I said to myself, it's, it's now 20 past 10. I really want to get up in the morning and feel really, really good. Put a timer on, read for 10 minutes, book down, frequency music on, out like a light. And after what was an exceptionally loaded day yesterday, I woke up this morning and I felt as bright as a button. Oh, bright as a button. But why? Because I've built capacity in. Why? Because I go for my hour in the forest every day. Why? Because I'm getting enough sleep. I'm drinking enough water. I'm not brilliant at food. I'm not perfect at food and I'm never going to say that I am. That is a bit of an Achilles heel for me. But I'm building enough capacity in, in 
like the gaps between clients and, you, and at the beginning you might have even more of those and I know that that makes me so much better at my job. I can show up better for my clients, for my family and for myself. So don't underestimate like the power of the things that you are doing when you're not doing anything in your business. So that's all from me today. The cat's whining. She wants to go out on the balcony and I am going to go and dry my hair. All right, speak to you in a bit. Lots of love. Didn't look at my phone again because it's it, like, that's the worst thing to do when you're literally up to here with like stimulation and dysregulation. I got into bed. I read, I'm really mindful about what I read before I go to sleep. And then I put my frequency music on to go to sleep too. To, I had a timer on as well. I said to myself, it's it's now 20 past 10. I really want to get up in the morning and feel really, really good. Put a timer on, read for 10 minutes, book down, frequency music on, out like a light. Doing when you're not doing anything in your business. So that's all from me today. The cat's whining. She wants to go out on the balcony and I am going to go and dry my hair. All right, speak to you in a bit. Lots of love.